Okay, we're out. So, it appears these two gears are lined up, so I'm assuming the spacers are good on that side. I don't remember the spacer being in here, but it's obviously in there, so I'm going to say it's probably okay. So, this uh, uh, spline looks like it's pretty close to being on the inside of the case over here, rubbing in here. See his rub marks way in here? Mm hmm. You sure? I see it. Yeah. I don't know if your camera sees it. Probably not because you can zoom in on it. Gotta zoom in. So that would be these splines here. Look like they're rubbing right in there. Which means something's not quite right. I think that was a zoom. Next thing Man, is... Are touching this thing? <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing you don't touch anything. Okay, this appears to be about 800 to the edge of the case. This is at 750. There should be enough clearance that way. So I think the shaft is cut down enough. It's close. But... I think the whole problem is the whole damn thing is stuck in farther than it's supposed to be. Right over here we have a little bit of a, a height difference between these two gears right here. About 30th hour or so, here's the depth, here's the difference. So that if that whole thing was that way about 30th hour would take care of this problem we're having over here where it's sitting in the case. So I don't remember you ever having to shorten the splines up. You're supposed to shorten up the shaft, not the splines. So I think whatever they got going on here is something going on with these spacers over here are not quite right. So we need to do a little adjustment over there. On the press? I'm going to take it back apart again, but I'm looking <coughs> to see where the what the problem is. Like I said, if this whole assembly moved in about 30 thou, it would get it out of that hole over there, which would make it sort of rotate. So right now it's right now it doesn't fit. So we need to make it fit. And this gasket's torn too. We have to get in the gasket now. Okay, I did that to you. Make you buy more parts. <laughs> Funny how it works out here. I tore it on purpose. Funny how it works out here. <laughs> <laughs> my stuff's getting oily too for some reason. I could take this and clean it and it wouldn't be oily, but then I can complain about you making everything oily if I did that. Yeah. Yeah. Take away all that. Get these nuts broken in over here. So do you try to uh, compress it uh, a little bit more so it's, so it's 30 thousandths? No, I'm going to have to uh, do some playing with the washers over there. Oh. The spacer will have to be shortened up, and I'm going to measure them to see if they're the correct ones. And see, the first time I assumed stuff was made correctly, so we know what that means. That means we get to redo everything. Okay, so I'm going to go press this back out again, and I'll measure both of these and see what's going on, because right now it's all wrong. Okay, so that lays right there. Do you want to record this? You mean the one you didn't do last time? Oh. Sure. Ah.
about that time. Okay, that's the space we've got to measure. Determine what's going on. Two fifty, two eighty six. So this is the thicker one. So this thing is less than two fifty, and then it will work. So the easiest way to do that is put in a lathe and knock off about twenty or thirty thou. And it'll shove everything over a little bit. Now, the disadvantage of all this is we're going to start screwing with the shifting mechanism slightly. So that could be a problem. So the next issue we got to figure out is if we're hitting against it in here. Okay, we're definitely bottoming out inside the bearing in there. See, it goes like that all the way in. Mm -hmm. And there's a clearance in there. So you can see the gap right there between the spline and the inside of the case. Right there. So that means it can go in further. So it's, being, it's bottoming out internally. So that means the counter shaft needs to be knocked down in thickness a little bit. You know, I'm also going to knock down this washer a little bit here so that these two gears are aligned with each other because right now that one sticks up about 15 or 20 thou more than it should. Or at least more than what the other one is. So I'm going to gain a little bit of clearance on both sides. So, let's see what falls out. Keep that as an assembly. Okay, so now I'm going to deal with just this right here. So I'm going to take this one back and do a grinding on this, I think. I can try doing it with carbide. I can hold onto this right here, I imagine, and do some turning. I need to clean the oil off this so I can work with it, though. Alright, so I'll be right back and we'll clean all this stuff up. One over there. It's got oh, a, the red button here? Yeah, it says red up there. That means I'm recording. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I got this cleaned up over here. So, whatever you've seen here is, is twice as big in the real world, so... <laughs> Don't be right on top of me. Plus, I've got room to jump out of the way in case something flings after me. Yeah. That way I can pull you in front of me. And then, then we're going to make history because it'll be a bloody thing that you can see. Is that what it would be? That's what we need. Oh, jeez. It'll go viral then. It'll go virally? How to hurt yourself on a lathe. That's never been done before. First time. <clears throat> First thing I do is take out my nice new bit. And we're going to stick a piece of crap in there. Yeah, we don't need new bits. I'm going to take one of these piece of crap ones I got over here. Preferably, it's really bad. So obviously, are we cutting peanut butter here or what? Yes. Let's see. Okay. Cutting real soft material here. That'll be perfect right there. Okay, first thing I do is see about trimming some of the fat off of this. 
So we were about 256, 7. So we need to blow about 10 to 15 off of this, I think. I'm going to take a lot off, but just, just a little bit to even things up a little bit. I was hoping this would have something to hold on to, but it doesn't appear to be that way. to face it off even. Okay, there's 10 power right there. I'll give it a 15 pound total. That's probably enough to do the job right there. Don't need chuck keys and chucks either. Okay, now I'm going to try to take about 20 off the end of this. I'm hoping this chucks up halfway square. be a bouncing problem. ground to the heat treat on the end, it's not hard. Semi hard. It gets hard on the outside end. Okay, so we're going to knock off 10 down right there. Thank you. 
Okay. So now we got a little extra cut off the edge there. I'm telling you on the outer surface here with the heat treater, it gets really, really hard. So it's, it's hard on the very edges where it's real shiny and it gets kind of dull in the middle where it's softer and it gets real hard again right there. So then we shorten it up. I re-put a chamfer here so it won't dig into the bearings if it gets into them. And between the two items, we should be able, we should have clearance where this doesn't hit the case here, and we're definitely going to bottom out on the inside, hopefully. So let's go see how this works. Kill the light above your head up there. Pull off any chips. Okay, I'm going to reverse mount all of this stuff back together. So you get your thrust washer first, then you get your bearings. And just reverse out everything. Everything fell off in order, put it back in order. As long as not, nobody came by to help you, it should go right back the way together the same way. So that's all the same identical way. There's an edge right here. Should be alright. Make sure there's no issues in there. Looks good. Okay, that gonna go there. Okay. To go push it all back together again. Then we come back for another test fit. shaft junk way over here. It'll self-center if you let it. Free. You look at your gear set, see how they're almost flush right here now? You have to look with the camera. See they're almost dead now, dead across now before they were up a little different. So straight should be good. So hopefully all the other gears line up too like you're supposed to now also. My guess it was a little bit off to begin with. A transmission. <clears throat> you think? What was it? It was, a, it was off twenty thousandths. You're gonna have to watch the video. Oh, look at that! I can do that. It's probably gonna have to be a lot of editing. <laughs> do you know how much that's gonna actually help? <laughs> no, you know what? It, when when I have it, I just get up to go get something out of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another beer. What'll be that? No beer, one. but you know. 
you know, before it locked up when we did this part. to do that. That's not going to bind up make horsepower. Wow. I'm thinking we're going to do. even go faster, man. I'm going to have to get a special permit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give you that. Okay. So it would be nice if we had a longer bolt than that, but shorter than that one. And a gasket. I'm not sure why this one's not accepting the longer bolt. Takes it now. To, when in doubt, force it. Had to get them familiarized with each other. <laughs> oh, did it work? They were not happy. They are now. They are now. Kind of like these nuts going on the shaft here. It's amazing what that wrench can do, huh? Yeah. Like that one right there, okay. Well, it's just as easy to screw it up, so. You have to, you have to know the limits. Put your fingers in to hold it. You. Have you done that before? Is that how you yes. know? Yes. <laughs> it's the experience. When they go back and forth, your fingers get jammed yeah. in there. And mm. don't. I never put them in between here, but just on the outside, it just eats the piss out of your fingers. It makes them hurt. So Maybe don't put anything in, inside that when you're doing that. Now you could hold it over here if you want on the outside. Did you do the top two? Does it work? Do what? The top two bolts? What top two bolts? Wasn't it the top two that made it bind? Well, I hope not. Right now we got to get a gasket. Gasket. Do you want a new gasket in there or just use this one? As it, it's only tore on the top. That's should right. Be, should be all right. You want to reuse it? Yeah. You don't care if it leaks? No. Okay. You sure? I'm sure. Put a little goo on it. You know, I'm going to pull this whole tranny back apart to do this. I know. I'm not going to do that. Do My it. bike, I would do that. For you, do no. It. Because you'll make me come back and do, do it. it. No, I won't. Here, it's going to, it's going to tear on it. Get the gasket. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at that. Went through all Look, oh, yeah, I can see the problem here. There's a tear right there. Yeah, there's, the a problem. Problem. Oh, yeah. there's a problem. There, there's your problem. There's a tear on the gasket. Looks like you had gasket sets on there, too. Yeah. Jeez. Always, always. Who told you to put that on there? I don't know. I'm some big some guy dude. named Tatro. For the price of a gasket, I do not want to go back in there. <laughs> see, I would be the one that would have to fix. Now, see, if you dump your drag in the oil, you get an oily mess. If you put this over here, it doesn't get any oil. So. There you go. And I think while we're at it, we're going to get a new gasket for the other one that's totally different. Because you probably want me to reuse that other gasket that doesn't even fit either, right? I don't know. What do you need a gasket for anyways if the if, if it's all perfectly fit? You don't need them. You don't right. need them. That's right. It's only when things are not evenly perfectly flat. It's the only time you need a gasket. Put that on the mill and flatten it out, baby. <laughs> there you go. This rag is so oily it won't even pick up the gasket material. Alright, you gotta break down and use another one. You gotta find another one first. You got another rag? I'm gonna use this nice fresh new one here, do you? Jeez. That's well, it. There's gonna be a five dollar rag fee on this uh, this tranny job now. Jesus. You know how many years I've been saving that rag? Yeah, if I knew I had to pay for it, I would have gave you one of my socks. For this particular moment. I don't know. <laughs> I'd have gave you one of my socks. <laughs> Alright, I'll give you a gasket. I'll get a gasket. You got a gasket? Who has all the gaskets right here? 
Ah, took off one of my stomachs. <laughs> God, I'm waiting. That's why I come here. <laughs> you tell when the patients get thin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the inmates are loose. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, huh? You got one in here, maybe? There you go. Must, have Must be the tranny pan. Five-speed tranny pan. Here's I have the same one you had in here, so it's floating around. Look at that. Beautiful. Thinking that one's a vintage one too. Yep. Wow. That's custom. I think it came off of this there one. There it is. Yep. You could have reused this thing. Yep. Here, this one's in one piece. I'm gonna use this one. Just to be different. Well, you might as well throw the broken one in your box. You can Use it later on down the road. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Glue it back together. <laughs> Glue it back together. <laughs> you know, I'm at the racetrack. I don't even bother putting gaskets in. <laughs> they are not needed at the track. <laughs> They're not really needed any time on my bike because I don't care. <laughs> Put a little goop on it and call it done. That's assuming you got the goop with you. Yeah. If you that's, don't have that, then don't worry about it. That's the best stuff. The bike will go down the track just fine without the goop <laughs> or the gasket. <laughs> Except in this application, because the gasket's a spacer that we need. Yeah. We know that if we, we only cut this much turrets off, so if we leave the gasket out, it'll lock up again. See that? The science of it all. But if you do a couple of hard launches at a drag strip, it'll probably free itself up. <laughs> <laughs> With a bunch of other stuff. Whatever. <laughs> you didn't need all those gears, did you? <laughs> okay, how's that going? Oh, that Bingo, that goes good. on the top. This one goes on top? There you go. You know that. Yeah, does it go this way or yeah, the other way? There's not a back and a front. Looks like it goes this way. Yeah. I'm thinking this is... No, see, this doesn't fit at all that way. Oh. oh, there you go. I had it right the first time. It just looked like it was wrong. It looks like it's correct now. Are you happy? No, you're not happy. Bro. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I still got both my socks. I almost had to give right. that up. Yeah, you're pretty good. Now don't forget to put all the gears in there either. Sweet. Ooh, I almost I put my clean rag on the oily floor. Yeah, I gotta get the oily rag for that purpose. That thing is working in our eyes now. Okay, now we got the bolts are actually fitting now. Where do these gaskets come from? They're all over the they're cloning. Jeez. Straighten the garbage. I just had a trash night the other night. Okay, what are we doing now? I got lost. The bolts. Bolts. That's the bolts. What it was. There you go. Are these all the same? The bottom ones are bigger. Is well, that how it works? That's because that's where all the gravity is. Jeez. Complicated. You know, I haven't read the instructions on this job since the mid-80s, you know. <laughs> they haven't changed. I'm hoping not, because I don't even remember. That one's tight. That one's looser. Did that go together? Did that go together? Together. Oh, something fell on the ground. There's a huge gap in that thing. Good gap. Well, I didn't do it. What bolts were we using? Must not have been those two. Yeah, those look good.
Ooh. Look at that. Sweet shifting technology. Gear with it anyway. Give me one of those gears. There we go. Look at that. It appears to work now. Look at that. You can almost feel the horsepower. Feel a massive amount of power going through the system already. <laughs> okay, geez, we're good to go now. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up, I'll be back.